Hey, welcome back. So the question today is, is there such a thing as too much Barbie? Z or too many Barbies? Whatever. Whatever it is, the answer is actually no. You think the cut this is no. So Margot Robbie is out there obviously promoting the new Barbie movie, wearing Barbie outfits in real life, which is blowing my mind. I just love seeing all these nostalgic outfits on a real person. It's very exciting and it just made me even more keen to do the same sort of thing with Lego. But I'm gonna just see whether I can do it with my currently existing mini doll pieces. So hence, too much Barbies is what we're gonna have today. So digging around here in the Barbie dream house that I built out of Lego. If you miss seeing that, make sure you check it out. I'll put a little link up in the corner and in the description box. But today we're gonna like fill this dream house with Barbies. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna make them all stereotypical Barbie with blonde hair, blue eyes, all pink, and so let's find all the bits and pieces. So I've got all of these heads that have got blue eyes. <laughs> They're all duplicates. So this is gonna be fun. So we've got a head for each of the new Barbies we're gonna make. So compiling body parts at the moment is one of my favorite things to do. As many different blonde hairstyles as I could find that would suit the Barbie style. Plus some things in here that are definitely gonna give us some different careers for Barbie. Good for all of the versions of the I can be Barbie. Got some pink torsos, which we're gonna just mix it match all of these and hope they go together and make something that could be like a Barbie. <laughs> Lots of pink bottoms, got some really nice skirts here for ball gowns and princess barbers and pink accessories full of, uh, there's a bit of variety here so this should be fun. Okay so pink guitar means that we are going to start with the Barbie and the Rockers style Barbie which was one of them that I actually had when I was a kid and I can like I can even feel the texture of the fluffy thing in her hair can remember the song on the cassette tape we used to rock out to that oh my gosh <laughs> god must stop now it's living rent free in my head okay so Barbie and the Rockers outfit let's see we can have silver a little vest over the top of a pink jumpsuit and of course we've got the same heads for all of these so blue eyes for the head and blonde hair which oh, what can we go with here because it's like a 70s 80s style we're gonna go with a 70s 80s style Barbie for this we're not strictly sticking to the Barbie and the Rockers look because I don't have anything that has that massive perm <laughs> the 80s perm. So we're going to do this, the Farrah Fawcett 70s hair. And if we're going to be doing 70s hair, then we've got to have like a roller roller disco style thing happening too. So let's give her her guitar first and a pink, pink microphone and some roller skates. <laughs> this is a success story. It's bringing me so much joy. Okay, except, oh, come on. I know roller skates can be very dangerous and hard to maneuver on. Come on, stand up. Stand up, roller disco Barbie. Look at this roller disco, <laughs> roller disco rocker Barbie. So confusing. Uh, except I actually want to use this guitar, which I already have installed in my Barbie dream house. We'll just rip that apart, put it back together again. Thanks, Lego. Thanks for being so versatile. And put, yeah, let's give her this guitar because I just think it goes a little bit better with this outfit because it's got more pink. It's more pinkity pink. Plus she can hold it while she's roller skating. <laughs> oh, the insanity. I can't turn back now. I'm invested in this now. All right, so she can keep all these accessories. Of course she can. She's Barbie. So here we go. Pop star Barbie. Ta-da! AKA all of those other sort of Barbies too. <laughs> roller Barbie. Barbie and the Rockers. Let's see what else we got. Um, we are going to pick one of these to use as our muse. Maybe this as the sari bottom for a Malibu style Barbie because they're six billion T swimsuit Malibu Barbies. We're going to just put, the t put put together a beachy Barbie basically out of all of the pinks. You know that Lego mini dolls don't actually have a swimsuit bottom. They only ever have this sari bottom and I'm wondering whether that be wondering whether it's because it looks reasonably cursed but now I feel as though I want to try and custom make a swimsuit bottom for a mini doll and see what it actually looks like. Okay here uh, because she's got on a blue necklace which is you know part of the color palette of Barbie. She, we can use this hair piece it's got a blue Alice band in it. Very, very sweet. Very, oh, oh, none of these, none of these dolls want to stand up today. I wonder why. I think they can sense my manicness. Ha! Ah, just roll with it, Barbies. You'll be fine. And we've got a stripey towel. And what else have we got? We've got a basket. You've got to take your basket to the beach, beach basket. And we can have a phone in here. And, oh, 
There's also a little pink lifesaver boy thing. So let's let's add this to the accessory pile. I mean, why not? It's pink and it works with the theme. <laughs> stripes. I actually didn't plan that. That worked out really nicely. Malibu Barbie made out of Lego. Perfection. Let's move her out here because we've got so many more to go here. We are not finishing until this pile is gone. <laughs> Run now. I, I implore you. Just go now. No, stay to the end. It'll be fun. Tell me what the very last Barbie is in the comments. You're gonna love it. I don't even know what it is yet, but you're gonna love it. Okay, what are we going for here? So this is, okay, so we have got a bun hair piece, which just screams out to me that there's always a ballerina Barbie. There's always a ballet Barbie. Uh, so this top we could use as a long sleeve leotard. I wish I could have some sort of blingy tutu style thing, but do you know Lego mini dolls have not released any sort of tutu or ballet style I mean they did have a ballet style set but nothing very ballet like it wasn't very ballet -y. it definitely wasn't a tutu and I uh, yeah so I had to paint my own so these are legs that I painted a few years ago for my own ballet mini doll this is a tutu I made myself out of a an air dry clay years ago so still having to use this because Lego will not give me an official version bit rude of them. It's probably because, I mean, I'm assuming it's because the, the mini dolls aren't terribly articulated, but I don't care. I'd love, I would love a whole heap of ballet Barbies. Ballet, no, hold on. I'm really lost now. Ballet mini dolls. Okay. Let's see how much I can angle this now so that she kind of looks as though she's in motion. And ta-da, ballerina Barbie we have created. I'm not sure why I put on a posh accent there, but now I'm going to run with it. No, I'm not, for heaven's sake. Okay, so what shall we use? Yeah, yep, there's always a baker Barbie, right? So <laughs> easy to Google, find cake baker Barbie. Let's make cake baker Barbie. So we've got the hair piece with the uh, incorporated hat on it, got our blue eyed face, and now we just need an apron and a whole heap of accessories so that we know she's a baker. So we've got a plate with some jelly. Hold on, isn't she supposed to be a cake baker, Barbie? Does, it's okay, I'm improvising. So let's put a torso piece on here, which, which has got a little apron bit. I would love for there to be a pink apron bottom, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna use a white bottom piece, I think, blasphemy, I know, but it's gonna match her hat, her chef's hat. And it's convincing, I'm convinced by this. It's even got some grub on it from some previous baking she's been doing, so perfection. And we've got some pink frosting, but I don't have a pink cupcake holder. I do have a bright yellow one, which will go okay with with the Barbie color scheme because she goes with pink and yellow and blue pastels. We'll just pretend that yellow is pastel. And here is a previously made cake <laughs> for her to go with her set. Here we go, look! Cake Baker Barbie. Oh, hold on. I should have put cake in there. Anyway, now she's a Baker Barbie and she makes jellies too. So she's a, mm, I don't know, she's a, she's a Barbie. She's got a chef's hat. She could be a chef Barbie. Okay, what are we doing next? Mermaid. Okay, so Dreamtopia. The Dreamtopia line for Barbie gives you all of the fantasy options. So we can have mermaid, we can have fairy, we can have princess. We're starting now. So mermaid Barbie got a pink tail, got pink top part, and we need her uh, blue eyed head. And because this is a fantasy version, we can use pink hair as well. Still gonna know it's Barbie, even though her hair is a pastely actually it's not quite pastel pink but her hair is pink she's still Barbie this is annoying for me I could not find like a pink starfish or a seahorse or something so I'm using a coral colored one which is in the pink palette almost but she can have a little pink pearl piece goodness me the alliteration is not breaking me today and I'm so proud pink pearl piece so proud there we go mermaid Barbie Ta-da! You know, I didn't think that this was going to be this easy or this fun. No, I knew it was going to be fun. <laughs> Next. Uh, we did say fairies. So within the Dreamtopia range, we've got fairy Barbie. We do have a blonde Tinkerbell hairpiece. So this is going to be like a melange, like a mashup of Tinkerbell and Barbie fairies. <laughs> so it's going to be Tinkerbell but pink with Tinkerbell blonde hair. Barbie, no, I'm confusing myself. It'll be fine. It'll be very clear as we go. So we've got legs. We can use this nice sparkly torso piece. This is a nice pretty top. Putting the wings on means she's just going to fall backwards, but I'll hold her steady for now. Get the hair piece on. <laughs> Get the hair piece on. And then all she needs is a pink magic wand. 
And then, lo, we have a fairy, a Tinker Fairy Barbie. Where's my little sign? Tinker Fairy Barbie. See, the mashup you did not expect to see today. Okay, move over fairy, because we are on to our next Barbie. Don't muck about here. There's so many pieces still stuff to go. Princess, you gotta have Princess Barbie. That's kind of the whole point is how fancy can we get? We've got a pink skirt, we got a pink crown. Finding a nice pink torso, which will go with this, an old-timey style one with the crisscrossy bits across the front. Put on our blue-eyed head piece. And then we just need to choose a hairstyle. So what are we going to go with? Definitely long. I mean, this one kind of, to me, is the most the most Barbie-style Lego hair piece. And we'll just pop this crown on. And then she's ready, except I'm a bit sad she doesn't have another accessory. So let's build her a scepter. So I've got a very long pink rod, which might be too long, but we'll see what we can put together to give her a sparkly scepter. This can, ah, oh, now it kind of looks like, <laughs> like, like it's too big. So let's just take that bit off and let's pop this on her hand. And there we go. Now we have got a Lego version of Princess Barbie. Oh my gosh, I could make so many versions of Princess Barbie, except I probably don't have enough pieces to do so. <laughs> there are only so many pink pieces here in Lego. This will be fun. So we've got blonde hair with black cat ears. So maybe we can make like a cute kawaii cat style Barbie, which I don't think, I don't think it's something that Barbie does. So let's just do it anyway. They haven't, yeah, they haven't delved into the kawaii cute style. So let's do, let's, let's just do, let's do our own version. So we've got pink, pink shorts. We've got a coral pink top with the cat face. And then if we put the cat ear hair on, oh, we've got cute cat kawaii Barbie. Uh, th that doesn't work. <laughs> the cute cat kawaii Barbie. But the accessories are going to sell it. So we've got a bubble tea, pink bubble tea. And for her other hand, she can have the new bubble gum, <laughs> bubble gum printed tile. Oh, okay, so how's she going to hold this? I wish she could hold these so they're facing the front. We can. I just need to put some sticky tack behind it. But for now, this will do. Or I can actually just put a little stud behind that, then she can hold it. Here we go. We've got cute kawaii Barbie. Cat version. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More torsos. Let's see what we can choose. What we can do next. Oh, pajama party Barbie. Definitely. I mean, there are obviously going to be so many versions of this. So easy to Google and find. We just need a pink teddy as well. Thank you, Paisley, for your pajama outfit. So we've got her top. We're going to be using her bottom as well, too, because it's just too absolute. Yeah, too absolutely perfect. There we go. And then we put on our Barbie head and hair. She could have like kind of bed hair messed up. We don't have too many fringe pieces, but a lot of my Barbies had fringes and they didn't look good for very long. So here we go. So we've got our, we've got our pajama party Barbie. So cute. Oh, the pink pajama Barbie. This is my favorite, <laughs> favorite Barbie incarnation so far. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, next, 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 we've got. Okay, so we have got. Oh, I, yeah, we've got, there are vets, like there are all of these I can be Barbies. So we've got a pink top here that we could use as a vet Barbie. So let's see what we can put together here. So not terribly practical bottom for, for the vet outfit, but neither was the Barbie that I found when I Googled vet Barbie either. So that's fine. At least she's not wearing sandals. That's helpful. She's got enclosed footwear on. Uh, she can, however, have a whole heap of accessories that are not pink, but we're going to make these work. So we can put on the vet's little, little nurse's hat. V vet's hat, have a vet bag, and this is how we tie it in because it's got pink printing on it. And the clipboard with the little pink picture of the bunny on it and I actually have a pink bunny to go with this <laughs> so pink bunny and I mean she's a vet she can't just be treating treating just one grubby bunny she can be also treating this little puppy too see there we go we've done it pet vet barbie I almost said nurse barbie because she could be we just take the animals away so versatile yeah kick those hair pieces out of the way let's see what Barbie incarnation we can go with next. If we have this splotch here, so we could have an artist Barbie. 
So if we use this and we use the lipstick and pretend that it's not lipstick, it's actually a paint. <laughs> it's a paintbrush. So I found this on the internet. Apparently you can be anything. You can be an art teacher. So this Barbie is going to be an art teacher. So we've got a really cute little pink overalls outfit for her. Got our paint splotch and her paintbrush. Shh, it's not a lipstick, it's a paintbrush. Lying on the ground. Got, I'm wondering hair. I like this hair a lot, but there's also like this plaited up over the top style hair. Cannot get this off. Come on, we'll just wibble it and it'll come off eventually. There we go. I want to try this uh, platy over the toppy style hair piece as an art teacher to keep her hair out of her face because, you know, that's ultimately more sensible than having it dripping around everywhere. And then you try and brush your hair out of your face, it gets covered in lipstick, sorry, paint. And yeah, then you just end up with lipstick paint everywhere. So we'll do this. And here's what she's actually been painting a picture of a horse. Ignore the fact that it says Aaliyah down the bottom. We'll fix that in a moment. And here's what the actual spilled paint has come from this cup. And I've got a lid here somewhere too. So there we go we can create a whole little scene here <laughs> we can create no actually I want to change that hair piece back over again <laughs> let's forget practicality pink streaks in your hair are pretty okay artist Barbie ta-da did it let's see what we got next I'm just wondering how we're gonna be able to mix and match all the rest of these pieces okay so this is we've already done a princess Barbie this one could be a maybe like a cake Barbie because you know how all of those Barbie Get, Barbies get stuck into cakes or maybe she she could be a ball gown Barbie so this to, this torso this bottom piece that I've actually made I made that for a prom dress for Olivia uh, but you know it works now for Barbie and we're gonna use this hair piece that I discarded before as the pretty updo I don't quite know I don't think she's getting any accessory we're just gonna leave ball gown Barbie as she is she's ready she's ready to go to the ball a little clutch would have been nice Hmm, shame I don't have any in pink. Pom-poms though, I mean, how could we forget cheerleader Barbie? So we've got pom-poms, we've got a nice big uppy ponytail. Just need to make sure that we've got an outfit that'll work. So a little frou-frou skirt and a yeah, nice little halter neck top. Blue eyes for the head, surprise, and some blonde hair. That's good, all right. Pom-poms for a cheerleader Barbie. I swear I'm losing it now. It's just, this is just becoming so horrifyingly stereotypical. But you know what? There's no, there's no shame in liking things that, that girls traditionally like. Why? Why should we be ashamed to do that? Um, as long as no one else is making that choice for you, and as long as you have choices, you can like whatever you like. Last one here. We're going to see all of these pieces, whether we can make something out of them. So we've got some nice shorts and sandals. Got a... Got a pullover kind of hoodie top, putting on our Barbie head, and we've got some plaits, long hair plaits. I don't know. <laughs> the accessory that's left is a pink frog. So this is the famous frog loving Barbie. That's what I, I knew we'd saved the best to last. I know I have more of these pink frogs too. So basically, you've heard of a crazy cat lady? This is the crazy frog lady version of Barbie. We'll just pop one on her head so she certainly looks crazy. And look, frog loving Barbie, my new favourite. <laughs> now, all we need to do is shove them all into the dream house so they can all live together in peace and harmony because there is nothing better than living with, I don't know how many of these, the, 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 how many of these we made, 15 other people. I mean, so easy to get along with everybody, right? All right, tell me which one your favorite Barbie was. Is it Frog Love and Barbie? Is it? <laughs> check back in because I promise I'll be slightly more sane for the next video. <laughs> should I make those sort of promises especially if I can't keep them? Who knows? You should check back in and find out. All right, I'll see you again soon. Bye!